Oh, I'm playing a pirate deck today and we're playing the mirror. What is the chance of that? Well, it being coming out from the last set makes it higher than you'd think, I guess. We have Bolt to kill their Lanami Storm. It's not even Lanami Storm. It's just Captain Storm. I'm going to look at this because we don't have a blue source. This has lands and spells. Our opponent leads glass pool showdown with nothing else to play. And we draw an Ozolith, which is a sick card in our deck. So that's a good first turn from us. Cavern of Souls from our opponent. Captain Storm. They're off to the races. Mox Amber puts a counter on them. Strong draw. We're going to play a hanger back for two. Mana. X equals one. I think we're going to get hit for a bunch here because we are just not uh, blocking at this point. They played the like Quartmaster, which I cut from the deck because four mana two two was a little bit lackluster. So the the tutor effect's strong, I guess. Um, but I was just finding that I was playing it when I was behind and losing. And I'm trying to play cards that are reasonable even when you're behind, you know. Whether we give you a good blocker or, or, or actually triggering Captain Storm straight up. Although getting sort of for Frontier and Forge is pretty decent. I'm not playing any swords. Maybe I should be. So we draw Staunch Crewmate here. We play this mountain. We play Captain Lannery Storm. We pass back to our opponent. No attacks. End turn. So we're going to be able to block this quite easily. Because Hangerback Walker will always be able to block this. Unless they have a removal spell for the Hangerback. That said, we can grow the hammer back to a 2-2 and also make some thoppers off and we'll die. So we still have blockers against the Frontier and Forge. They play the sword of Frontier and Forge. Lo and behold, and put a counter on Captain Storm herself. Or they're going to spread them around. They spread the love. Truth be told, I think I'm taking a smack here, which will be five damage. And then they get to get top two cards in the library and play them. But they have no mana here. So I think that's absolutely fine for us. Take eight. No blocks. I think we want one more turn of growing our hanger back before we get to this point. Sure. You can exile these spells that you cannot cast. You get a land drop out of it. Fine. Grow the hanger back. Drew not a land. Good stuff. I'm going to play a set of memes here. This will allow us to put a count on Captain Lannery Storm. This will give us a, um, a mana to be able to activate. Hanger back walker when we block their storm in a second. Um, that'll make us three one ones and put three counters on the deals on it. So that's not terrible. Uh, no attacks. End turn. At the moment, Sail of Memes can actually block the Lyquat Master, but I'm assuming they'll play an artifact here. Oh, they'll make two... Or a singular treasure, making it a 4-4. I'm happy for Sail of Memes to actually die in this circumstance, just to conserve some life at this point. Subterranean Schooner, making that a 5-5 five, five Dead Eye Quartermaster. They're playing a lot more stuff than we are. They're hitting the land drops and win. Going to go to blocks. We're going to block here, serve some life here, and then before damage, we're going to activate our Hangerback Walker. We're going to grow it, and then we're going to damage. Both our things die. We make three 1-1s, one put some cows on the Ozolith. Uh, Landry Storm's going to get massive, because all three three of these top just put a counter on her. Three counts on the Ozolith. Hopefully they can't like bounce my storm. Okay, we're good. We drew a land. Lo and behold. Powerful magic. I'm going to crack this and go get an island. Not shocking myself with this team fence here. Play off color fetches because they can fetch our, our basic lands. Or they can fetch our steam fence and they can enable um, descend and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm going to go staunch crewmate. Find a breaches. That's pretty good. Breaches is very good. Now we can keep up Siren's Ruse. We can play a pirate hat. I think we keep up Siren's Ruse. And we can flick our staunch crewmate after it blocks the Dine Navigator as well. We'll keep a load of blockers around. We're going to make Captain Storm huge. Huge. I'm just going to get in for nine here. And then we'll end the turn. We've got, we've got three blockers for this sword. We've got three turns before we need to worry about this hitting us. And they are spinning the counters around. So they're not making their sword carrier that big. But they really can just move the sword. Hopefully our opponent forgets about that. That's always one line when you try to win a game of magic. Is to hope your opponent just forgets how magic works. They're thinking for a while. They're probably thinking about combat math here. And dealing with the fact that we've got a 9-9 nine, nine that's going to attack again next turn. Stuff like that. If they have removal that kills all three of our 1-1s. One we'll... Oh, up to three target creatures can't block this turn Nani? by caramba and they discover four as well this card's actually weirdly good in this exact circumstance where i have three blockers isn't it but there you go metallic mimic comes into play grows one of their creatures what the fuck what is this card why are they playing it why was it so good in this exact circumstance jesus christ remember who'll come in as a pirate it'll trigger and probably put a counter on something unsure what they're going to grow the quartermaster. Fair enough. They're going to do one damage to staunch crewmate, which they're not going to. We're going to actually get to counter the spell here with a flicker spell that will draw us a card because we're flickering a pirate, which is pretty decent. So this keeps us uh, a blocker, which will chunk oh, six damage away. Actually, sorry, this is pro red, so we can actually just block Captain Storm, which is probably our better bet. Uh, and then we look forward to even find nothing, of course, because, <laughs> well, you know, magic, magic, magic. And we, we are playing like 20 plus pirates, so... They crew the Shuna. Uh, they explored the Mimic. We get a blocks. We block here, I think. Yeah, I'm just taking nine, which is, is a lot. But um, to be fair, we can hit them back for the moment 12. So mountain, 12. Two artifacts, 13, 14. 15 with the equip of the hat. That's not enough, though. It's not enough. Can they make all three of our 1-1s not be able to block again? That would really suck. 
<laughs> they can't do that. Let's go Breach's Eager Pizzager, which allows us to actually like turn off a blocker when a pirate attacks. We'll attack with Lannery Storm. They have no blockers, so we'll make a treasure here. Grow Lannery. Make her a 10 10. Slap them down to 6. Then post combat, we have 3 mana available. So we go just a flagship, I guess, because it grows our breaches to a 4 4 first striking blocker, thanks to the storm trigger. A 5 4, sorry, because the fell flagship grows our team, of course. Um, did I miss out on damage there? No, because I needed the treasure. So as long as they can't like ping all of our creatures for one, or make all three creatures unblock, not be able to block again, then we're okay. Uh, you got to bear in mind that I could have played this blue creature here, because Semblance Scan has equipment when equipped, but it's a creature when not equipped because of reconfigure. Try saying that three times when you've had a couple of beers, am I right? And that would have been a blocker for the Storm card. So they're growing the Delay Quartermaster. It's getting big. It's a big Quartermaster. It might just be the biggest Quartermaster I've ever seen. That's a huge bitch. They've drawn two cards off of their thing but they got a den of the bug bear in their land base i don't want to hover it to give that away but that's also a way they could get in for more damage here they're animating it our opponents saw the line of using the cards that are in their decks to try and kill us okay i think they can still survive this attack they go to combat and they attack okay so they make a one one they explore sure 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 and then we're going to go to blocks block the five Block the eight, block the three, block the three to land and kill it. Take one. Did we do it? First strike, baby. First strike is the most underrated keyword in all of magic. People do not play around or with first strike enough. I mean, that, that's because there's not enough creatures that are good at print with first strike, but people don't realize how good it is until they're staring down normally in a limited or a situation like this, but it's like a really weird situation. There we have it. We beat them. I thought we were going to lose because we were missing land drops like crazy, but it turns out we could race them. I uh, just by virtue of Hangabout Walker being quite the magic card. That thing that made three of them not be able to block was kind of funny. Maybe that's generally playable in this specific deck because you're so aggressive. Five mana is a lot though. Five mana is a lot for your aggressive payoff. Uh, top end, maybe. Uh, that was just a little quick match. There will, there'll be more videos on the channel. There'll be another video today with this one. So look out for that. So if you're watching this and thinking, Vince, where's my video ranting about a random thing about magic? Well, don't worry, kids. That'll be elsewhere on the channel today, tomorrow, and forevermore as I run on the infinite hamster wheel of content. Don't forget to check out coolstuffinc.com by the link in the description below, and the deck list will also be down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Ta-ta for now.